It is an uplifting update to a story that captured the attention of our community about this time last year. A mother left her nonverbal teenage son at Grady Hospital. She said that she had been overwhelmed trying to care for him and her three other children. She was arrested and charged. But this family story resonated with so many people who, instead of making this mother feel ashamed, saw her desperation and really wanted to help. Which brings us to now, one year later, as more caring comes from the community. Here's John Shearick. It was the picture of desperation. A mom recorded on a security camera in December 2019 as she led her 14-year-old special needs son by the hand into Grady Hospital in downtown Atlanta, and then she left him there by himself. Police later found and arrested the mom, 37-year-old Diana Elliott, who said simply she had reached her breaking point, overwhelmed, unable to figure out any other way to find professional help for her son, while she was also caring for her three younger children. What's happened in the past year? Cheryl Arno calls it extraordinary. It could actually bring me to tears. Cheryl Arno and the Down Syndrome Association of Atlanta immediately and suddenly began receiving cash donations to help the teen. And a virtual army of moms came out of nowhere to help. They surrounded Elliot with support the family had never known. Watching this, you know, team of moms come around and circle around her, um, they gave her lodging and support and food and um, a shoulder to cry on. Um, it was really, the power of these moms was really extraordinary. Arno and the Down Syndrome Association of Atlanta used the donations for medical and professional help the teen needed. The children's father from Ohio won custody of them while the mom's case went through the courts. The children brought out of foster care and reunited a month ago with enough donations left to give them a Christmas they've never known. So just the fact that they're all together is, is a huge accomplishment. They will have the best Christmas ever. This family ending their year of tears in hope. I really feel good about their future as a family. It's really wonderful to see that the family's reunited, that yeah. the community continues to support, and that there's a big conversation, Jennifer, about a greater need for resources, especially for families that have children with special needs. Yeah, and it just shows that this family was not forgotten. We did this story a year ago and people are still out there working on their behalf and yeah. for other families in similar situations. So it's definitely great to see that. Yeah. Well, we see your pleas to make it stop, but political ads are going to be a mainstay on your television until January. We're going to explain why next. Making history, Athens Clark and Oconee counties are getting a new district attorney for the first time in almost 20 years. The counties elected Deborah Gonzalez in a runoff race earlier this month, making her the first Latina district attorney in the state of Georgia. She was sworn in just a couple of hours ago, and as Paula Suro shows us, DA Gonzalez is also making history on a larger scale.
Débora González's win as Western Judicial Circuit District Attorney makes her the first woman to serve as DA in the circuit and the first Puerto Rican woman in the country to be elected DA. We are ready to roll up our sleeves, work really hard um, to bring justice to Athens and Oconee. As election results trickled in, the realization she'd made history hadn't hit. And I was like, really? Wow. I, I was just concentrated on my circuit, my state. I wasn't thinking about um, the country, but it's very exciting. The Democrat, who ran as a progressive candidate, beat nonpartisan candidate James Chafin by nearly 900 votes in the runoff. And while she says this narrow victory is momentous, she also realizes it's bittersweet and a long time coming. We're in 2020. Why are we still celebrating these kinds of firsts? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be first in any of those things. We should have had women DAs in this circuit before. We should have had Latino DAs in Georgia before. And we're still fighting and breaking those ceilings. The former state representative for the Athens area credits Stacey Abrams for paving the way for women like her. Gonzalez says she will bring many changes, including no death penalty, to Oconee and athens Clark County. I ran on a criminal justice reform platform in saying, you know, reducing mass incarceration, eliminating cash bail and nonviolent offenses, ending the school to prison pipeline and making sure that we have transparency in the office. She says that transparency begins by hiring people with different backgrounds, perspectives and experiences. When we have these things of Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery, all of those were decisions made by district attorneys who refused to go forward and seek justice for the people. If you don't have that diversity, you won't know truly what people are going through in their communities. Gonzalez is also one of Georgia's electors who cast a vote for Joe Biden earlier this week. Coming up at six, what she has to say about being part of that moment.